Alright guys, so here's the uh, actuator that's going to control these dampers. Um, it's a Bolimo. There's the bunch of information on there as well as information right there. You can pause the video if you want to look that up. Um, but this uh, actuator, uh, so this piece right here clamps onto that rod that I was showing you earlier. Um, because I'm working with the mixed air. So this rod right here. Um, this rod is going to rotate either clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, the way that it's set up now, uh, if it's going counterclockwise, then the damper is going to close. If it opens clockwise, the damper is going to open. Uh, the way that we have this set up is that when the unit loses power uh that actuator has a the actuator has a spring on the inside of it which is right here um you have a little hexagonal uh hand crank which will go into here and you spin it the direction that arrow says to put tension onto the inside spring um that will rotate the actuator arm or the clamp uh, one direction or the other, depending on if this thing is upside down or not. Uh, the way that this thing is rotating, if I can hold this thing while I am trying to demonstrate. Sorry guys. So if I hold this, I start spinning it. You might not be able to see it because it's kind of slow and I'm being kind of unsteady. As you can, if I let it go, it'll be a lot more obvious. So, what the actuator is doing is when the spring pressure is released, uh, this act, this actuator clamp is going to return to its default position. Um, now we can use that to make the damper either open or close if this unit loses power and that spring tension is released. So because this mixed air damper, we want this when it, fa when it f say we call it fail to uh, move to position. So when this one fails, we want this damper to fail open so it's wide open just like you see it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set the actuator up on top of this rod so that when it loses power it's going to uh, rotate this so that these flaps are wide open and allow air to pass straight through